Please. Hello, friends. Um, today, wow, this is really low. Okay. Hello, friends. Today is Monday, uh, and I decided to kick off a work week in my life. I work from home, but I will be going in the office this week, so I thought it would be a good week to do this kind of vlog for it. But um, uh, my morning routine on weekdays is basically just taking you give her a walk in the morning and then just kind of, um, what's it called? You know, getting ready for work and stuff. So we're gonna make a coffee right now. I am so mad because I spent a couple hours last night cleaning the house. Hold on, I have to put you somewhere because I'm like so tired of holding the camera. Okay, so I spent... Perfect. Just don't fall. <laughs> um, I spent like a good chunk of my day yesterday cleaning and my in-laws came over for dinner and I was so sad because my clean kitchen turned into a non-clean kitchen and they left relatively late so I couldn't, um, not that I couldn't, I honestly just did not want to clean again because I spent all day cleaning and my feet were like in pain and I was like I am gonna have to leave this for tomorrow so this morning I woke up to a little pile of dishes and now I have to do those so people who clean before bed after like a long day I don't know how you do that let me know because this is just too much work so now we're gonna make a coffee feed Yuki and then get started on work so I'll talk to you guys later I also forgot to show you that I am making bread this is my second time making the bread um, I let it I left it in ooh, Okay, this looks good. Um, I left it in the fridge for overnight, um, so it like rests, and then now it has to stay on a, sit on the counter for like two hours. I took it out at seven, so at eight ish. So I'm gonna bake it at ten, um, and then we're gonna see how it turns out. But this is what it looks like right now. So yeah, I just unwrapped it from the towel. It's very fluffy and it bounces back which is a good sign which is what you want and if you can see the little spots right here those are like little bubbles forming so we're just gonna have to like uh like this is a little bubble forming um so we're gonna have to flip it into the dutch oven and bake it and see how it turns out I'm currently using two. I'm using this oatmeal creamer from Trader Joe's. Just a splash of that. And then I'm using my Chobani um, original. A splash of that. friends I am back and um, we made the bread I had to let my camera charge because um, it died on me so while the camera was charging I made the bread it did not turn out well I overproofed it I think so if anyone watching this is a bread expert please tell me what I did wrong I think I overproofed it because when I I used the bread proofing setting in my um, in my oven for the first time and I think that it just it got too fluffy like I overproofed it so it did not rise so let me show you how it turned out let's see so this is the breads so it looks good we love the gold um but like see how it's like it didn't rise it's like 
it rose a little bit and it's very porous which i don't think is a thing but we're gonna eat it anyways so yeah Now we're going to put some salted butter on it. All right, hello friends. Uh, we just got done with work. It is currently 4.50. I just called it a day. Um, just kidding. So, today's going to be a pretty boring day. I think I'm going to Peloton at some point. And first thing first, I want to tackle the kitchen the mess that we have and then i have to edit a video and then i have to walk the dog and then i have to work out and i also wanted to clean my office but that probably won't happen today and i wanted to do laundry so there's just too many things i want to do before bedtime and i go to bed at nine o'clock so we're gonna have to figure that out but let's clean the kitchen first and then just go from there i should probably put laundry in so it washes while i'm cleaning because that would make more sense but okay so i did clean the kitchen and now we're gonna do on our eve we're going to go on our evening walk but we're gonna go to the beach so we'll take you with <laughs> morning friends it is currently 9 20 you can i just went for a walk i just didn't take you guys with me because literally every day is basically the same thing so we did the walk and now i'm looking at some of the prime deals to see if there's anything good out there i don't really need anything but you never know what you can find um i saw that the frame tv is actually up to 500 dollars off which i thought was Wow, that's actually a really good deal. It's 
$500 off. But I don't need one, so we are not going to get one. Um, I'm just looking at stuff like, you know, toilet paper, uh, detergent, like any house stuff in general. Um, but nothing so far. So if I find any cool deals, I'll let you know. Although it will not matter because Prime Day will be over. So we shall see. Also, my dream bag is arriving today, hopefully. So can't wait to unbox that. But right now I'm just making my daily to-do list. Um, I use GoodNotes on my uh, iPad and I am doing that. So, because I have a horrible memory, so I just draw like a little, like a little, um, calendar on GoodNotes and, um, I kind of personalize it every month. So we're doing that and then I have to work and then I guess I'll talk to you during lunch. Um, also, hold on. Uh, we're gonna go grab a monster because everyone needs a midday pick me up even though it's only 10.30. We just need it, so. Um, so I just got done working about five minutes ago and I actually received some uh, a couple packages today so I wanted to do a quick haul on those first thing from the Nordstrom sale is this 32 ounce hydro flask I already have a hydro flask but it is a 16 ounce this one is 32 and the reason why I purchased this one um, was because it's on sale. I like that it has the loop to carry it around as the silicone bottom that's removable And then it has the straw lid in it um, I just noticed that I drink a lot more water when I have access to a straw versus like unscrewing and I know it's so stupid but like I just and This color. I mean, can we have a little commotion for the color? So Purchased that um, and then my prime day deals actually arrived today some of them I'm still waiting for like two things to arrive Thursday, but Majority of them arrived today. So I want to show you what I got first thing is these um, Expedition by WAG human grade dog biscuits with pumpkin and chia seeds for Yuki They were literally three dollars. You can never have too many treats Next thing is this um, Grande Lash MD Lash Serum. I used that one. It's, it honestly does help. This is, I got the full size. It was the best deal. It's expensive, I will say that. But if you think about it in terms of like getting lash extensions and paying $60 every month for a refill or paying $80 for a serum that lasts you a year and actually does work. Like if you're not looking for a dramatic effect, uh, my lashes have grown significantly. Anytime I put mascara on, I can definitely see a huge difference. So I got that. And then I also got Yuki these uh, Zesty Paws Stay Green Bites. They are for gut health. Yep, okay. Last but not least, very important purchase from Amazon. Sorry, I don't know how to open this to where it would make sense. I got these uh, gravy. They are Kitsy chicken and beef stew cuts and gravy, and then they got turkey and vegetable stew. I got these for my cats because I love them. So that's what I got. And then I made a pretty big purchase for myself, and it just came in. And I let me preface this by saying I wanted this bag for like three or four years now um 
It's been on my Pinterest board for a very long time. I just, out of all the bags, I don't even like the brand that much, but that specific bag was on my mind for a very long time. And so I pulled the trigger, I found it in Fashion File, and I bought it. It is the Louboutin No Way, No, No Way, somebody's gonna comment, uh, whatever it is, bucket bag. So I purchased this bag without even doing the research of like the time code. Uh, it is authenticated. This is what it looks like. La 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 baby. I, I took out all the packaging out of it just kind of to show you the slouch. Oh, this is what it looks like on the shoulder. Like it's a good size bag. I feel like I would love it. Now here's my dilemma. And I don't even know why I'm telling you these things because by the time this video goes back, I will either keep it or return it. Um... This is what happens when you don't buy, you know, since it's still prime day, I should probably buy myself a new, um, 64 gig, um, what's it called? SD card. my work day which is like the same thing as usual and then after work I'm gonna take you with me to we have to go to UPS we have to go to Marshall's because I'm looking for like a white tank top to wear under a shirt tomorrow and um, so we're gonna go do those things and then I have to do a missions and this is so embarrassing but <clears throat> I've never done a missions I never had to do them because I lived in a different county so I have to do a missions and I'm like <laughs> Like, I'll go do them. I just have no idea what the heck you're supposed to do. So, um, so there is that. And then the news on the bag, in case anyone was curious, I decided to return it. I printed my uh, free UPS shipping label and I'm going to drop it off today. But the exciting news are I actually purchased a bag from eBay. Um, it is coming from Japan. Japanese uh, vintage bag market is actually amazing. I've heard a lot about it before I decided to purchase from Fashion File. But I finally figured out like the best way to search for things. But I will tell you like this bag, the bidding on Japanese market insufficient space on my SD card, which is why I ordered a new one yesterday. Um, but essentially, what was I saying? So yeah. Uh, Japanese market is literally insane. Um, you can get a the bag that I was looking for, which is the Louis Vuitton uh, Noe bucket bag. You can literally start bidding at $55, um, and most of them are in actually really good condition. Uh, the funny part is that there's just so much to tell, so I think I'm going to make a separate video when my bag arrives just to kind of show you what I got, how much I paid for it, and what it looks like uh, in comparison to the fashion file bag. But um, right now I'm gonna start my work day. It's currently nine, um, nine, nine, ten. Um, so we're going to, blah, blah, blah. we're gonna do a little bit of that and then yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. friends it is me um today is thursday i have to go in the office um so we're taking the train i'm taking the 9 a.m train because 708 was just too rough and everyone i asked is showing up late so i figured i could also roll in around um you know 10 11 so we're taking the train yeah there's shit it's not in park oh I guess my door's open um but we're taking the train yesterday was kind of a wash of uh, vlog wise because i 
just nothing interesting happened and frankly i did not vlog i literally worked and then after work i went to the beach which um all of that footage is there and then yeah we watched the bob's burger movie that was absolutely horrible too much singing i don't like that and then this morning we're going to grab starbucks to drink and eat on the train because i didn't eat breakfast and then we walked yuki got ready i'll show you my outfit of the day i'm wearing this uh Ralph Lauren men's linen shirt that I thrifted from from Goodwill um, like a week ago and then some jeans and some shoes but I'll show you later and yeah taking you with today for the day so we just got our coffee I got the brown shaking espresso with gold foam and then I got lemon loaf for the food um can I shake this fuck I've seen this trick on TikTok where you hold on I've seen this thing on TikTok where you like flip it. Wow, this. Ah! Those. Oh, there's two holes. Okay, well, that was a bad idea. I have coffee all over me. Um. Okay, TikTok. Screw you. Um. I have coffee everywhere now. Anyways, so don't do that. Cover both holes, like TikTok says. I just didn't. Now I have coffee on my jeans, and then I got a lemon loaf, and the these Starbucks um, that we have here, it's actually inside of a Julasco, and they're honestly like the sweetest employees. They always compliment my outfits, and they're like just overall super sweet, so. Okay, we're gonna go to the train station now, and just kinda eat our breakfast in the parking lot, because I have so much time. and then um, I took the train home and I am literally about to pull up to the house so I'll talk to you all tomorrow. <laughs> 